Well, I bet when the American owners bought Birmingham in July last year, they weren't thinking they'd be meeting Ryan Reynolds' Wrexham this soon. But hey, next year, Birmingham versus Wrexham could be a fixture in the league. I, unbelievable. Um, Adam, I'm not even going to ask how you are because I, 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 yeah, I can see it and I can see it in your face. Um, talk us through it. I've been telling you for weeks, you keep saying no chance blues go down. And I'll keep saying, trust me, there's a, there's a massive chance we get we go down. I think the, uh, you know, people are saying it's the Rooney 10 weeks, whatever it was, is the thing that's cost us. It ain't just that. We we were absolutely dire the last two games. Um, I had no, no real clue at all of trying to score. Um, it's very, very worrying. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> I mean, I suppose my I keep looking at it from an outside point of view, thinking, well, there's at least another eight teams plus you uh, that could go down here. And I know for certain when we talk to Plymouth tonight, Blackburn tonight, uh, Swansea even, um, any one of them could take your place. It's just a case of, you you know, you're going to have to sort your own uh, sort your own act out. And your fixtures are more kinder than Blackburn's. Your fixtures are kinder than Stokes and the fixtures are kinder uh, than Plymouth. Uh, there's only Swansea which we've highlighted will might have an easier running. But you've got to, you've got to put the ball in the back in it and and you've lamented your strikers all year, haven't you? Um any positives to come out of the game the other day? No, nah, nothing. Um again, real poor, poor 90 minutes. Um yeah, like I say, all the teams around us are just keep picking up points. So yeah, we're we're well and truly in this, and we we we've got to put the ball in the net ourselves and take care of our own results. We're not even doing that, so you know you keep circling that relegation plug hole season after season. Eventually, you're going to drop through it. Are we going to do it this year? I'm obviously hoping and praying we don't. But let me tell you, the last two performances haven't been convincing at all. There's been no fight, no show of desire to try and win a game. We just look clueless. We look lost. It's it's really worrying. Um, really need Mowbray back in the dugout as soon as possible. Here's a controversial view that I saw uh, twice. Once on uh, once on BBC and once on, once on Twitter, the, the, the individual posters were saying, "Look, Mowbray's a nice guy, but he's clearly not well. Uh, isn't it time to wish him well? Sideline him now. Get rid of Venus, who's clearly out of his depth." And just get someone, a firefighter, a manager to come and save this season because, you know, uh, League One is not a league you want to head into. It's difficult to get out of. Blues are a huge club that don't belong in a, a league like that. Uh, why not? Um, the thing is with Moby, I just don't think we know. Will he be back after the international break? So two more games and then he's back. We just if he's if that is the case, then. Hold on to him. If he's not, then I I, I agree. I, I think we need to go and do something to try and save the season because you know we can't do it going down to the last game or two games of the season again fighting for it. Could even be done by then. To be fair, we're looking that poor at the minute. Um, but yeah, Venus. I mean, he's looked well out his depth at the minute. Um, I just don't know. I don't know the answer at the minute. It, it it's worrying. It's very very worrying. And obviously now about to face a Watford. So I have just sat there, manager. So yeah, that yeah. usually happens there. Yeah, here we go again, isn't it? Birmingham play a team that have just recently appointed a new manager, um, like you did with Blackburn a couple of weeks ago, and um, they get uh, the most to get a point. Um, let's bring in Aaron, our Watford fan, and get uh, his view on all things Watford. Um, good evening, Aaron. Welcome to the Birmingham View. Are you okay? Yeah, good. Thank you. Uh, tell the Birmingham fans just how bad Watford have been in the last couple of couple of months to give them some sort of hope this Saturday. I mean, um, so I, a quick two stats for you. Um, you can expect a Birmingham goal in the first half because Watford are the worst first half team in the league, bar Rotherham. You can also expect probably a, a decent chance at a result oh. because Watford are the worst team in the league at the moment, other than Rotherham in the past ten games. It, it is that it's been that bad. I um, we're a shade of the team that you saw pre pre Christmas, um, we, and I mean, the, I guess the big problem is that we we really struggled to find the net consistently. I, I can't remember the last time we scored more than one goal in a game. Um, yeah, it, it, it's going to be an absolute classic this one, isn't it? 
Um, yeah, I mean, the reverse picture of this, you won obviously 2 0, Aaron. It was two late goals after um, Lee Buchanan got sent off, didn't he, Adam, if I remember, uh, remember rightly. Um, and uh, and this picture usually produces lots of cards. So we, Birmingham had seven yellow cards in that reverse picture back in September. And of course, that, that one red card, that's the most single uh, amount of cards they picked up. Uh, and usually there is a, a booking and uh, tons of fouls in this game. So this is going to be pretty. Adam, what changes need to be made in personnel this Saturday for you? Well, I think, as everyone can see, we're stitching together a back four because we've just got no centre-backs. So if I was Watford, I'd, I'd go to up top and press us high because you've got a strong chance of winning the ball. We've got a keeper that can't keep the ball at all so put him under pressure and he'll kick it straight to one of your players again things I've been crying out for all season um, it's going to be it, I mean like we've got floods of midfielders but none of them are producing anything uh, none of them are even looking like they can work alongside each other as we know we've only really got one goal scorer in the squad so if you keep Stansfield fairly quiet we're, we're, we ain't going to score it's, it's going to be that simple saying that watch us probably going put three in now against you and uh, I'll be eating my words and if I, I listen I'll happily eat, I'll happily eat my words if that's the case um, but even if Blues went and put three in, I'd be more confident in Watford being able to score four that, that's the type the type of Blues side we're, we're, we're talking about right now it's okay. just low on confidence low of ideas not looking good at all okay um, Aaron what um, what sort of shape structure formation or what would be going with it's probably hard to tell I'm guessing with cleverly his first game but what do you ex- what do you yeah, hope well, will happen do you know what that's my sort of hope for we might see a change that's quite effective is the fact that maybe with a new man with a new guy in charge we're a total unknown and that Birmingham maybe can't prepare as well granted he's only really got the week to discuss whatever that is with the players so I don't think we'll see anything too drastic Towards the end of obviously Val's time in charge, he was starting to move Espria inwards a little bit more and switching to a 4 2 3 1 or a 4 1 4 1 at times. I wouldn't be surprised if we see something similar to that. I mean, the, the, the sort of big problem we got is, is who on earth plays up front at the minute because, I mean, Dennis just seems to be able to play for about 20 minutes and doesn't look on it. Bio runs around, but can't seem to finish his dinner and I mean R- R- Ryovic is like playing with the human lamppost up top you might hit one in towards him and it will hit him and go in but that's about the best you're going to get from productivity wise um, yeah I, I I, really don't know what to expect and, and maybe, maybe, that's what I say, maybe that's a good thing all right, Adam. Let's get some predictions for you. There's only ever been one nil nil in this uh, in this fixture. I shouldn't be saying that because you know what's going to happen. But what's your predictions for this weekend? Uh, yeah, listen. I predict Blues to win every weekend. Trying to be positive, so I'm going to do the opposite this week. I'm going to predict us to lose, <laughs> hoping we win. So I'm going to go one nil Watford win, hoping right. it's uh, the reverse effect. The Aaron's smiling at that, given that obviously Adam has not been watching Watford for the last two months, but. Um, yeah, you've not watching Birmingham, so this is gonna, this is going to be a morbid. <laughs> this is going to be a morbid affair. Thank God it's not on TV. This, yeah, um, yeah, definitely not one for the neutral. Um, but I am going to try and be optimistic. I'm going to hope that that uncertainty can sort of play a factor, and that the new manager bounce sort of propels us into getting a result. I'm going to hopefully say it's going to be a two-one win right. to Watford. Right. All right, thank you, Aaron. Uh, obviously, enjoy your trip to St Andrews. Thank you very much. Uh, and just before we go, we are discussing referee controversies this week in the Championship and the standard of refereeing. Um, if I was to ask you, what's been the biggest refereeing injustice that you've seen against your side this year? Um, what would you point to? Oh. On, t- on Tuesday, was it? Yeah. I don't, know if anyone, I don't know if anyone's seen that decision. Um, but the guy literally punches the ball into the back of the net and the ref does nothing about it. You're, you're, you've all been watching the Championship obviously for a while, probably actually Birmingham longer than any other team uh, currently in the, in the league. What, what's your view on the standard of officiating? Has, has it improved? or no, no, it's getting worse. It's getting worse, it's getting worse as, the, as the seasons go on, if I'm being honest. 
Um, I'm not one for VAR at all, but some of the decisions that have gone against Blues this season, I mean, crying out for VAR. Um, we're just getting nothing. We're getting, you know, players are getting fouled in the box and we're not getting penalties and pit they go up the other end and they're punching the ball in the back of the net and the, the ref's not doing anything about it. So, yeah, um, moment in time I'm crying for VAR. I think Blues would have more points on the board if it was for VAR this season. Would you, would you, yeah, well, certainly they probably want to be in as much trouble as they are, but would you, would you welcome that in the championship? The the fact that oh, games will slow down, pause. I mean, I, I honestly wouldn't. I don't, I don't. I don't like it at all. VAR. Um, but the way the way and we're going with some of the refereeing. I think it, it could have benefited us more than it could have cost us this season. If I'm being mm. if I'm being honest, but it, I, I don't want VAR in any football. I think, like I say, it slows it down. It ruins that whole celebrating knowing you've scored. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's flip, flip a coin and. Let's see which way it lands. Okay. Uh, just one last one to just check how uh, how fed up you are of football. Yesterday, there were two fantastic footballing results for, for Birmingham. Uh, first of all, Huddersfield got battered by West Brom, which saved you from going into the bottom three. And then, of course, the Villa got tonked by, by Tottenham. Were you able to get any pleasure from either of those results? Or is it just so bad right now that um, you don't really care what happens anywhere else? Well, listen, it's all, you know... It's- Always nice to see the Villa lose because they've been doing a lot of that recently. Um, and obviously, it was nice that back is actually out to South for once. So, yeah, the minute uh, if when Blues are losing, you're looking over your shoulder, counting on every other result going your way. So, yeah, I don't usually watch the other results too often, but at the minute, I am. And uh, uh, as we know in recent weeks, they've all gone against us. So, it was nice for one week to actually help us. Yeah, thank you, West Brom. Right. Thanks, Adam. Good luck. No worries. Good luck this weekend. Catch you next week. All right, cheers. No worries. Cheers. Good luck.